today we're going to be going over how to do the sabotage mission in Starfield completely stealth. No one is going to know you were here. And we're going to try and keep this video under 8 minutes long so you don't get any mid rolls. Now let's get into it. Go up to the rooftop. You're going to see a guard right here. Sneak up to them and activate or tell them to turn off this fan. So now they turn off the fan, drop down, and now you're going to have to turn on the heating system. So you're gonna go here, critical heating, activate yes, bing, bang, boom, that has been kicked off. Now there are only guards left in the building, which means this is still extremely hard. Seriously, this is super hard. If you're completely sober, this is hard. If you're stoned and doing this, I'm impressed. If you're drunk and doing this, oh my God, you are a God. Anyways, follow the path that I just followed. I'm gonna be doing this at 2x speed, but feel free to slow down the video if you want me to sound drunk and the video goes slower so you can figure out what I'm doing. But basically I ran along these beams, I dropped down, this guard is not going to detect me. So you can just go right into this room, close the door behind you, behind you. And now you go to the computer and bing, bang, boom. You've activated or you've accessed Lucas's computer. You put on the overseer program and you're good to go. This was the easy part. By the way, this safe right here has 2,318 credits. So now what you're gonna wanna do, exit the room, hang a left and drop down. This part is hard. So for the best I can tell, these guards actually can hear you. They're not seeing you. So that's why they keep going off. Be very stealth here and tell that one guard that's standing by the door just to go run off to the side like I did right there. There's a guard still below you, so be very careful while you're creeping and crawling because despite the gas making a constant hissing sound, these guys somehow hear you. I don't know how it works, Bethesda did a little bit of a bug, I think, but whatever. Maybe it's my computer and it's not up to spec. Anyways, you're going to drop down into a bathroom, take a dookie, wait for this guard to be walking the other way, and now sneak into this room. By the way, that bathroom door, stand off to the side when you open it in case the guard's right there. That way they won't see you and you can keep going. Once this guard goes down the hallway off to your left, you're going to just run down this hallway, duck into this room, wait here, get your bearings, and then creep over here. You're going to see the guard walk by. Once that happens, go behind this sort of filing cabinet right here. Give it five, six seconds. Look to your right. You're going to see him walking down the alley. You're good to go. There's going to be one guard in the cafeteria. Direct him to run off to the side, and now you can just run through to this event. All right. You thought that was the hard part, right? It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It gets harder. So now you're going to drop down, go through these vents. This isn't the hard part, by the way. If you fail here, I don't know what you're doing. Anyways, now that you're here, you're going to run along here, run along here, run along here. There's going to be two guards over here. Direct one of the guards, that one specifically, to just go off in the middle of nowhere and do absolutely nothing. The other guard is going to walk away because your friend running off and jumping on top of a desk isn't a big deal in this workplace. So you're going to be able to sneak by, open this vent, jump into this vent. Now you're in an elevator shaft. There, there's no guards here. You can just drop down unless you want to be sneaky. Anyways, once you've dropped down to the elevator shaft, it is time for the hard part. Yes, that's right. I just said it's time for the hard part, but I'm going to walk you through this. So it's not a big deal. Jump across to this platform here. You're going to jump to the left platform now. So once you're on this left platform, you're going to have to walk like it. so go into this vent. A lot of this is just me narrating what I'm doing. It's a little ridiculous, but I feel weird not talking. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep doing this? Is this guide actually helpful? Please let me know down below in the comments. Also like and subscribe would help because it's hard to get traction on YouTube. Anyways, you can see right here, I'm sneaking past the guards. This is a pretty easy part. Run in here. You're going to be able to find a pass that you need an access pass. Also phase computer, install the overseer program and you've got one more thing left to do. Luckily, it's a little bit buggy here but you should be able to do it pretty easily I think. This safe, I have no idea what's in it by the way but probably something cool because I couldn't pick into it. Now jump back, go back the way you came. So you're gonna go up here, cross across here, you're gonna jump across and now you're gonna wanna hold a right, okay? so. Keep the wall right next to you. Hug that wall like it's your mother. Or, I don't know, Angelina Jolie. Hug the wall. <laughs> so now you're gonna keep going. Keep going. Boom, you're at the end of that wall, that walkway, whatever. Drop down. There's a security camera over here, so you're gonna have to, again, hug this beam right here, and then just run across. The security camera is gonna catch you, not a big deal. The security guard is gonna hear you. He's gonna come down the platform. 
And now if you're me, I thought this would be a great time to control them and send them off into the middle of nowhere so you can go up and access the computer and turn the security camera off. Unfortunately, the security guard saw, thought the other guard was acting sus and killed him. So what you're actually gonna wanna do is go up here. Now you're gonna just target the guard, take control of him and just send him sort of to this platform. It's gonna look like he detects you. It's gonna get right up to the point where he's detecting you on that like caution hidden whatever meter. But for whatever reason, it never goes up. Walk up to the computer, deactivate the turrets, jump down. And now all you've gotta do, put your access card in and you've got access to this room. But don't stop yet. Don't stop the video yet because there's still a few important things to do. First off, there's some screens. You should close them because it makes you harder to see. Also, you're gonna notice if you open this, a bunch of alarms go off and you've been detected. So follow the power cord, go over here, hack into this, disable the security controls, and now you can steal that whatever it is without alerting anyone. Did This was a hard part, by the way. If you wanna leave the video early, you can do it, but if you stick around the whole time, I appreciate it because it does help with the algorithm. Now, open this door. You can go back the way you came, you can go sort of up that shaft, back to where you jumped into this level, if you will. And then you're going to just jump onto that elevator and bing, bing, boom, you're out. There's one guard there. You should be able to take control of that guard, move him somewhere else. If you've made it this far, this part is a child's play. I do appreciate you sticking around and hopefully you did like these videos. If you like the fact and you want to support a creator who's keeping videos short to the point, trying to get the guides out that you need and not trying to make as much money as possible by making videos 8, 10, or even 69 minutes long, make sure you... Subscribe, like, and do all that. Anyways, this guard has been successfully neutralized. I'm headed to the elevator, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.